sucks everything down very quickly with very little water. So she was sitting on the toilet and she accidentally flushed it while she was sitting on it. And so she was pulled down and she couldn't get out of it. <laughs> and so her husband came and he, she kept saying, call somebody, call somebody. Well, he was very embarrassed. <laughs> and so he threw his hat so it landed on her lap. And so the plumber came in, <laughs> and, he looked, and he said, well, I can save her, but the little guy in the hat is a I'll start to make a comment about this same thing about the brain. Uh, I was a special education faculty member, so we had to think about how the brain functions and for the sake of kids and teachers <laughs> to uh, try to help those who have difficulty with their brain. And I was scheduled to go in 2008 to Japan, so I'm tying that back to Japan. And uh, there was, it's called the Ohio-Japan Exchange Program, for basically personnel who serve people with disabilities. And, uh, and you learn about the services there, and you bring some ideas back and exchange them. <coughs> so the exchange of ideas, they ask, is there something that you could share with us when you're here? And so I kind of took this thing about the brain, and that's why it says 2008, is because 2008 is when we went there, and I shared this in this form. But it got revised yesterday <coughs> for you, and it's uh, making me think, you know, as at our age, most of us are in our senior years, <coughs> that we get a lot of literature about the brain. And I'm thinking that this <coughs> is another addition <laughs> on the current knowledge about brain function and deterioration. So maybe there will be a future work. But I started this with a preamble just to kind of help those who are thinking about it, get a context. God created this magnificent thing known as our brain. Thus, to use our brain, our mind, the operator's manual we must find. We need a brain operator's manual to learn how it best handles. Send your thoughts on this outline to add brain principles you create or find. And that's an invitation to you, to me, if you should like, I appreciate it. Our brain has been evolving over thousands of years. It's been learning to learn while between our ears. It's time for us to better understand how it learns. It's our greatest resource to help us live and to earn. It's our resource to understand life. It's our resource in choosing a husband or wife. It's our resource for each decision we make. It guides us to flush, brush, bake, and to break. It guides us on how to cope and how to look. <coughs> you may be asking why this composition is composed about brain principles. Yeah. But time out, Larry. I'm sorry. Uh, he has to leave. I'm sorry. I'm We're going to give him our phones. Why is that the hospital? Oh, okay. Okay, good. That's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll get them later. Oh, yeah. Joe, I'll, 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 I'll get a couple of hours. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry, I'm coming back. Thank you. Bye. 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 I guess we're at the last two lines of the preamble. The, the principles stated in verse, oh, excuse me, let's do the whole last yeah. stanza. 
You may be asking why this composition is composed about brain principles as stated in verse and prose. The principles stated in verse are delightful and stated as prose are more memorable. So you normally don't think of poetry as it relates to the brain, but many as we are composing, obviously it's coming from there. <laughs> So it relates intimately. <coughs> anyway, this is the Brain Operator's Manual, and it's purely an outline, and I mean, there could be books on books, and you'll notice later that it's, there's many. The first principle of brains attend to comprehend. One, brain learning is a tension between focused and peripheral attention. Brains with focused attention achieve better retention. And two, brains have heart and motivation to learn. Brains are motivated to learn when relaxed, when feeling competent and confident. <coughs> brains learn better, endorphins increase, when choice is giving a voice. Brains are motivated when praised for effort, but fear of failure when praised for potential. Brains are turned on to learn when mildly challenged, but turned off when threatened. Brains have passion to learn when there is a purpose to learn. Brains have greater devotion to learn when tied to an emotion. Brains yearn to learn about life's sources and forces. And three, Brains acquire, learning, or expire. Brains acquire learning at each developmental stage to become a sage. Brains acquire information best via a multi-century immersed experiences that they reflect upon and then converse. Brains differ for boys' toys versus girls' thrills which recalls for differentiated learning experiences and expectations. <coughs> Brains make meaning. Brains naturally seek meaning from joys and strife of life. Bad times can bring good things to learn. Brains search for meaningful patterns. Dendrites grow and form axon connections as they compare and contrast, dissect and connect. Brains make meaning and share it or they pair it. Brains seek perfection of thought in pursuit for meaning that is sought. Brains develop perfected responses with perfected practice. Brains possess unique perceptions which beget unique connections and reflections. And brains make memories. <clears throat> brains' short-term sensory memories are either tuned or pruned. Brain working memory requires analytic review work. Brains at each memory stage add a memory slot for each two years of added age. Brains using multiple memory sites have increased memory might. Brain memories referenced to what you believe are easier to retrieve. Brains interact to reflect and refine. Brains are excited and delighted to interact within and with each other. Brains simultaneously multitask at an interactive system, they seldom bask. And in closing, brains seek application and creative expression. They use it or lose it. Brains engaged in application achieve satisfaction. Brains engaged in creative expression experience ecstasy in the session. Brains engaged with our creator rise from mope to hope.
just an editorial thing. I, you know, I always do this. Please, thank you. In uh, number five, Roman numeral five, okay. number Arabic three, <laughs> brains at each memory stage add a memory. You've got plural brains. You have to so take the S off the word adds. I've lost it. Where, where, where is it? Uh, V5. Okay. And then three. No, no, I've got it. I'm sorry. And take the S off of add, adds. Okay. Brains. Thanks. At each memory stage, add a memory. Yes, yes. <coughs> You put a lot of time into that. Uh, years. Larry, <laughs> <laughs> that's an impressive bibliography. Yes. I'm just state silence. He doesn't like footnotes. Now we're going to have footnotes and bibliographies. <laughs> well, there's no end to this. It, it didn't come <laughs> off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you deal with yeah, That's where your brain is. Factors. <laughs> right. yeah. um, you know, after my stroke, I had some really interesting reading about how the brain changes, how plastic it is, and how if one, li li uh, one route is closed, then another ca mm. pathway can develop. Mm. And uh, I I just was introduced to this whole different way of thinking about how my body works and our bodies work. And um, I, I wondered if you were fascinated with the same working type of working of the brain, the, the con obviously the cognitive connections and what have you. Yeah, because um, uh, I think you've got some really great ideas in here. <coughs> But I felt bogged down by the by the uh, outline format. It was so academic in a way, you know, that I, no, I mean, with references. <laughs> yeah, and the repetition of brains, you know, it was it was dulling my brain <laughs> a little bit. So I'm thinking, if you're fascinated with brains and you want to work with that as a topic, you know, try this essential information again in another format. Get rid of the outline, you know, the references and all that, and just talk about that fascinating connecting stuff that goes on with us, you know, just as as a sort of P.S., you know, a, a, a postscript to this effort, you know, yeah. um, and and pare it down. And I think I think you'd have fun with it because you've essentially expressed a lot of interesting ideas about the the brain working. Okay, so let's do cultural bounds first. The great bearded poet attended a reading at the Sancho Panza downtown shout out cafe. A series of club members, young and dressed in the image, stepped up to read. This perhaps overly mature poet listened as each reader sketched a series of images, cucumbers dressed in pink, slouch hats pulled down at a masking angle on every parking meter, couples clutching together as loving earthworms, night crawlers, and so on. <laughs> Greybeard failed to see connections among the images or a governing theme in the work. The aged poet has also struggled to hear the words and meanings in popular songs and the meaning of what must be slang when overhearing young and active people chatting. 
He lacks the determination to learn the slang, to hear the songs, or to interact with the busy. Poet writes to self and to those others who have aged from the same culture, but his audience will never be wide as his cultured garb no longer fits. When he concludes he no longer belongs, how can he expect to speak to the current culture? He writes to the birds, the flowers, and trees. They understand as well as they did ever. <laughs> yes. 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 I like the I like the Tolkien. Yes. <laughs> the Tolkien says to all those who wander around. <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> It's, it, you know, the world seems to have left me behind, and several of us have expressed that thought from time to time, and it, I think it makes some sort of sense into our poetry. Too. Well, uh, having attended a couple of times the poetry readings at Donkey Cafe, uh -huh. Donkey Coffee, rather, I, I, I hear what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what they're saying. Yeah, yeah. There really must be a meaning about pink cucumbers somewhere that means something. <laughs> <laughs> On the other side, <laughs> we have the same old word. We have a prose poem, subject to criticism by those who are students of prose poetry. <laughs> Late winter, early spring, dozens of migrating robins, a cold lake winter wind blew across the broad mowed area along the river. I pulled my cap down, trying to shield my face from the wind as I walked into it. Watching these rusty breasted birds flying, feeding, or resting on any shrub or rise in the ground. A few red-winged blackbirds flew over the small retention pond and perched on the brown standing remains of last year's cattail calling with their sharp, squeaky song, Creech, Cree. <laughs> Along the walk, I approached a scooped out hole and saw the groundhog seated at his doorway, on his stoop as a city hog, unmoving, looking all nose as I slowly, softly stepped toward him. But quickly he ducked back and was gone into his home, apparently as comfortable there is a 19th century Norwegian immigrant in his sod house on the South Dakota Plains. <laughs> Looking around, I see several newly dug mounds and watch a number of woodchucks rapidly moving about. Their legs so short, they look as though they were traveling on rails. <laughs> the robins, RWBs, and woodchucks herald this winter beginning to spring, this wintry beginning to spring. As I pause by some bordering trees, I hear the happy chick dee 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 of the enterprising little birds that have survived through the winter doing just fine. They're accomplished winter campers finding insects buried in the bark of trees and when iced out traveling to people's feeders to dig into suet and sunflower seeds in the company of downy woodpeckers. The sharp winter wind chases me off my walk, but these creatures close to the soil and water are undeterred living their life. Soon the neighboring sassafras trees will awaken and wave their green mittens in greeting to those beings who have kept so busy all the while the trees slept through winter. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. 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 Yeah. What is an RWB? Red wing blackbird. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> now, Stan, well, my question is what made you decide to put this in a prose format as opposed I to. I have a never written a prose poem, so I am subject to criticism. I like to do all the different kinds, you know, sestinas and potions and. Gazelles and all that sort of stuff. I think I've done one of everything, but I've never done a prose poem. I think you did a good job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Beautiful images. It's, uh, it's, it's very poetic. Yes. There's, there's a raging debate, as we've mm -hmm. discussed before, that, about whether prose poems are really poems. T.S. Eliot used to, to rant against prose poems, saying that mm -hmm. form is not a poem. But uh, I think they are, because it has poetic elements in it, and there's some images metaphors and word plays that is every bit as uh, poetic as uh, Robert Frost 
solid. Yeah. Yeah. And it, uh, I could be motivated to write the same thing in, 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 in short lines. Yeah. Sure, sure. And that's about the only difference between prose mm -hmm. poem and free, free, or what is it? But that's not free verse, it's uh, free verse is uh, strict iambic pentameter, isn't it? I think so. Well, yeah, so like Shakespeare. That's yeah. Shakespeare. Blank verse. Blank, Blank verse. verse. Yeah. yeah. What I. Uh, when you were reading it, and I was reading it, what I saw was a flip book, and the oh. characters were all animated, and it like oh, flip pages. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that, that's really? what it is for really? me. But joy with sound. Hard sound. With sound. With sound. Well, uh, just internal sound, yeah. 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 It was just amazing how clear it came through yeah. in those instantaneous pictures yeah. that were flashing yeah. out of my head. Yeah. This was probably the day after our last poetry meeting, yeah. and I was on the bike path uh, heading from the end, you know, to Lowe's and whatever, <laughs> uh, where they have all the soccer fields. <laughs> And so it was very, very busy with all these critters. And meanwhile, it was a bitter, cold day, and the wind was really harsh. And uh, so I enjoyed my walk as much as I could, and it was because of these critters that I enjoyed it, I guess. Yeah. Paints a lot of pictures, oh, and I, such as the um, groundhog that suddenly ducks out of sight. <laughs> yeah, you know, right, they just yeah. do a disappearing act of something. It's funny how they sit there unmoving, and mm -hmm. if you're heading right straight at them, they're just like one giant nose. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Everything seems to be centered on the nose. And then, chip, they're gone. Yeah, they have a personal space around them, just like we do. Uh -huh. yeah. You ready to pass that one? <clears throat> I think I got your original. Or did you take everybody? I take everybody. I could not get it to. Is there one more for Tom? No. You can take mine. When, okay. Um, when you're done. Yeah. Don't no, there, it's over there. I passed it over to him. It should be under the bottom. Oh yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. Well, we'll start with Charlie. Oh. I I got to Memphis on a big cloud day. The sun on the river was sparkly and gay. I loved the city, but doubted I'd stay. I was searching for Charlie Boy Murdoch. I searched all the speakeasies, the cribs, and the dives where Charlie Boyd met almost all of his wives, being as he is a rascal who thrives on the fond attentions of ladies. But no one had seen him for more than a year. With a time lapse like that, it was certainly clear there was no chance of finding old Charlie Boy here. The scoundrel was slippery as snake oil. So I hired myself west on the earliest train. For better or worse, it was bound for Duquesne. So I asked, so there I asked questions, but didn't remain. No one had ever met Charlie. Someone suggested he'd headed out west, so that's the direction I carried my quest. Well, that turned out to be futile at best. I nearly gave up on the project. But perseverance is my middle name, so I girded my loins, got on with the game, and continued my trek till I finally came to Austin, still <laughs> looking for Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> going to Austin. <laughs> No luck. I left on a Greyhound bus, determined to find the slippery cuss, but tiring of all the feathers and fuss. Was told then where I could find him. Albuquerque hadn't a cloud in the sky. I finally found the damnable guy and feared the relief might cause me to cry, but I gave him the message and left. <laughs> no him. No him. <laughs> Is there a name for this form that you... I think three rhyming yeah, lines followed just, by something. Just, it just comes naturally to me. Uh -huh. I, probably, probably I, well, it is a form that is yeah, followed yeah. now and then by others. But yeah. I, you know, I don't start out thinking I'm going to do it this way. It's I just mean. that's the way it. It's not in Stephen Fry as a form. It might be. It's I'll hard. Have to, I'll have yeah. to look. 
It's like, like a country western thing. song. This uh -huh. one. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, well, it's for music. Really. You know, Patricia, yeah. what was the message? <laughs> <laughs> we want to know. <laughs> we were going to ask that. Uh, uh, between the narrator and Charlie. Oh my God! What a tease! <laughs> <laughs> I love your first slide. Yeah, that's what started the whole day. thing. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. 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 I came out the door of the library one day, and it was just these big clouds. <laughs> and big cloud day. Big cloud day. That's nice. So now we can do one. <laughs> Well, if Charlie comes to, to uh, I'll let you know, yes. <laughs> in fact, I will ask for a team when I go to uh, uh, Whole Foods or someplace. Yeah. Well, because doesn't seem to be the kind of guy who would go to Whole Foods, right? Some kind of no. Yeah. 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 yeah, the yeah. Sixth Street bar. Speakeasy, crib, or a die. Yeah. yeah. There's plenty of those in Austin. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I'll meet one of his wives. <laughs> <laughs> Equilibrium. I seldom give the piezo, piezo electric properties of mineral quartz a thought. <laughs> I cannot say the same of you. Some mental pictures of us paint with a brush so hot the rising steam obscures the fine detail. Other times, clearing out the trash between us proves as futile as sweeping with a frozen broom. <laughs> We've never found nor sought equilibrium. <laughs> <laughs> Patricia, I take this poem as an absolutely brilliant example, um, total vindication of me. <laughs> Patricia has written a poem with a foot. <laughs> finally, 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 there's a left foot. <laughs> I thought people, some people might not know the pizza we have the properties of the little quartz. <laughs> That's so great. Much. And each one of these is taped. So well, because impressed. I couldn't get it to get, exactly. get it to fit in the foot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a real foot. <laughs> uh, I, I, I real swore foot. a lot about it. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to get things to fit. You know, it is. <laughs> Last week I couldn't get the lips to the tape. Oh, anyway. Jiggle in matter, we can never reach absolute zero. I haven't tried. <laughs> That's something. The jiggle and the jiggle. Is always. <laughs> The one from the bottom comes to me more easily than the one. But you have oh, given yeah. footnotes of a higher standing in my day. That's right. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. New standard. Hopefully not for everyone. That's the thing. Yeah. Poetry. Isn't it interesting that after thousands of chronicle years, there are still new verses to be written, so many variations of so many words. Isn't it comforting that after thousands of fact-filled years, our hearts never empty of verses of love, always love is newly found within. I, I, I felt uh, like not punctuating. Is that all right? That's fine, sure. <laughs> I noticed that. Right. That's fine. That <laughs> you do it with your voice. Uh, voice. Nice. It works. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. To spring, robins often are listening, cocking their heads in order to hear stirrings of life. Theirs are the songs that emphasize April's grand entrance, that open the curtains to spring. <laughs> I like that one, since I'm Robin. <laughs> the, the honorary opening of spring. <laughs> Deep into the winter. I think there's enough for everybody.
got confused. So, so I, I jumped in. Yeah. Well, I got not why. I mean, either. <laughs> no, I actually I don't know why. <laughs> there are enough. Yeah, yeah, apparently. Enough? No. Yes. I don't know what I want to do. Everybody has to do it. That extraordinary thing, the pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Let's don't get mired down in pronunciation. Who cares if it's extraordinary or extraordinary, however. This is about pickles, not words. <laughs> Almost anything can be pickled. Pigs feet, beets, cabbage, shrimp. Mostly, everyone loves plain old cucumber pickles, dill, sweet, crisp on hot dogs and hamburgers alongside your sandwich. A Chinese friend once said the only vegetable she had in the winter as a child was cabbage, boiled or pickled. It was what she ate when she and her mother were sent to mine coal north of Beijing in Mao's time of revolution or persecution. In my family, we threw nothing away as far as the spelling. The white insides of watermelons became pickles. Once I ate ackee and pickled codfish. Life is good. Pickles are better. <laughs> <laughs> Let's think about it. Even if you have no idea of how to make a pickle, something happens when your mouth becomes infected with a pickle's multi-complex zingers. Yippee, woo and golly gee. Pickles are great for you and <laughs> 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 You need a chili to say that. <laughs> 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 Were these pickles made from pink cucumbers? <laughs> 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 we had pink cucumbers. Pink cucumber <laughs> pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Your pickles are made from pink cucumbers. <laughs> I make, pick, I make cuc uh, watermelon pickles every year. Yeah, I make watermelon pickles. <laughs> Did you ever buy those pickles out of big barrels? Those big sourdough pickles. Then we got a pickle lover, right? Mm -hmm. here. <laughs> we all are. This, this is I an old pickle. pickle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping to grow patty pan squash this summer so I can pick them when they're that size and then pickle them. See there? Anything can get pickled. Even people. Even people. Pickled people. And peppers. Pickled peppers. Pickled yeah, or scotch. Or <laughs> <laughs> Either one of them. What's the Guthrie song? I don't want to pickle. I just yeah. want to ride my motorcycle. I used to eat that in the car. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is from Jan. Patricia's she's the woman that um, I have met at the hospital, and I've read one of her other poems before, and I told her I would represent her. I wanted to call her this morning, and it totally slipped my mind because there are some other things I was doing. Um, because last time I read the poem to her, and then she she did a little bit of minor editing on it. So I did not do that with this one. I hope it's I hope it's okay. <coughs> Everybody has one. Were there any extras? Sure, do. You do you have one or not? If you don't, I do. You got more? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. There should have been, I, I thought I made 16. Okay, and there's two extras. That works out. Okay. Now everybody has one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sharing God's garden. I walk around my roses, tis calming to my soul, to look into the heavens and hear the thunder roll. The joy in every rainbow, it makes my poor heart leap the awesome gifts of nature, the grass beneath my feet. 
My, fa my face is bathed in raindrops coming from the sky above, dropping so softly like feathers of a dove. Our Father, we do thank you for all that has been given. We praise you every day, O oh Lord, till we meet in heaven. The, I spoke to her husband after our, um, our meeting last time, and he said that she is not doing well. Um, she's been in and out of the hospital, so, and that she was really very excited and thankful at her poetry. Yeah. But she could never true? make it to the meeting deal? They, they live in, in near Ravenwood, hmm. so it's not like it's around the corner. <coughs> so she comes up here to a she came to Well, she went to a Blennis. That's where she and I met. But she's been, I think, in two other hospitals since the time I met her. But we are in touch through email. And I will let him know that I did present this poem uh, to the group, and hopefully she'll send some more because I know, I know it's been really encouraging to her. Yeah, to yeah. give an impetus to do something. Yeah, like yeah. I'm not feeling that badly. The problem is, I'm not sure this is exactly what the group's intended to do. I mean, when We've we bring in, other authors, poetry. but those are off where we bring them in to show how a good poem is written. Right. And um, this is helping a dying lady. I think that's very kind. That's very kind. I'm not sure it's a purpose of the group. It's and okay, Patricia. It's fine. Okay. It's a legitimate it's a couple thing. of minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not presenting a poem today. Okay. I am still working on one. Actually, one that she and I were sitting in the hospital together. She was writing her version of the topic, and I'm writing. That's one. a good idea. <clears throat> you did share that with us. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I, I haven't finished it yet. And I'm thinking that what I'm working on, it may wind up having to be two poems, but we'll see. Because there are different ideas floating. I was working on it last night. Everybody have one? <coughs> Here's the next one. Thank you. <coughs> Passing by, making their way in the early morning fog, car lights beam as if individual lighthouses riding the streets. They pass by, steering those passengers to eight to five jobs. Huge yellow flashing lights and cash register light beeps pick up children from the streets. They pass by depositing precious cargo at schools. <clears throat> I remember when I passed by homes and buses on foggy days making my way through cornfields, stop signs, farmland, and eventually into heavy, soupy traffic. Those days, have ha those days are happily gone. They pass by. Did someone sit and see me pass by and wonder where I was going? Maybe they had a little smile when I drove by in the freezing rain deep snow or a warm summer day? Did they notice me when planning their day's agenda of walking the dog, taking out the garbage, and reheating last night's supper for lunch? When I sit at the Four Reasons Cafe on Route 22, the 18 wheelers pass by, rattling coffee cups, bowls, and plates. I know they are more passing through than by, and I wonder where and why. Years ago, while reading the expeditions of Lewis and Clark, I was passing by the land overhead from St. Louis to Seattle, wondering if the glistening snake-like river was the same they passed by. I sipped on a Bloody Mary and imagined them cold, wet, eating wild berries. I ponder about the connections we make, seen, unseen, known, and unknown, the ones we pass by. Do you? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. There you go, Larry. The brain at work. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, each piece is that. From the second line of the oh. second stanza, it says, Pick children, but you better pick off children, which I think is Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
And the children from the, the middle line of the third stanza, I would say making my way past cornfield. Past. The saying through cornfield sounds like you're off the road. Yes. Maybe you were past. <laughs> I was off the map. <laughs> 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 GPS said turn right here and right. turn right there. Mm -hmm. And the other one uh, on the other side, not the front of the on that. <clears throat> I heard on NPR that spring was arriving in Afghanistan, and that signals the season for fighting to resume. Funny. I thought spring was about the earth erupting in green and bulbs bursting joyfully with color. I was reminded of the Peter, Paul, and Mary tune, Where Have All the Flowers Gone? Obviously not to Afghanistan. As I peer out my window, see daffodils, read garden books, and contemplate what annuals to plant, I will still hum, maybe even belt out an old anti-war song. Perhaps the wind will pick up my vocal vibrations and someone in Afghanistan will plant instead of shoot. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we lived through those days to no effect. No effect at all. Mm -hmm. Some people love and some people hate. Doesn't seem to work out. And the second group has been quite prominent recently. Mm -hmm. um, I well, mean, with, it's just, with seven ahead. billion people, there's an awful lot of passing by also. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. Passing by doesn't yield community. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mm -hmm. yield yeah. social interaction. It doesn't yield learning about people. Well, I think that's one thing that some sit from what I've been listening to on NPR, some cities are learning about their police. Instead of having them passing by all the time in their cruisers, they've got the police actually, they've set up uh, substations in houses in some of the troubled areas, so mm -hmm. that's where the police go to work, they get to know the people, so instead of passing by there. They, when I was a child, and of course I didn't grow up in a big city, but police walk the beat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think it was, it's a mistake when they got away from doing that. Mm -hmm. We used to walk yeah. to the ice cream store on Friday night with the local cop mm -hmm. and we walked the beat. Mm -hmm. We did oh. too. Mm -hmm. Four nips for a dime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> that was great. <laughs> Oh, I yeah. No, it's smaller oh, oh, dips, but it's just different, different yeah. something. Mm -hmm. One of the Ashford's ice cream. <coughs> we went to Blood Goods, which I always thought was a terrible name for an ice cream shop. What was the name of it? Blood Goods. Oh, that was a family name. <laughs> I never got strawberry ice cream. Ours was the one. <laughs> malt shop. <laughs> Um, okay, I apologize for the two pages. I had a problem with my um, printer. <laughs> I now have a new printer as of yesterday. So <laughs> let's just take two, uh, two of them. All right. Or four. It's now, contagious. This group is known for having difficulty dealing with this kind of job. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's more than I was you can handle. <laughs> extremely unpleasant yesterday. <laughs> um, you can just call me if you need <laughs> sure. I've had them all. The she said she month. has the black lip thing down there. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, okay, this is. Wait, we did. Wait, wait, wait. Short oh, pause. Okay, Short pause for figuring it all out. Oh, oh, this is two pages. Two pages. Yeah. 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 Don't say there I go. You're supposed to have two pages there. Yeah. So I gave them to her. No, you want Yeah, but I'm just going to either pass two or none. I'll take the book with you. That was a three-card month. It's been a while. I've got some. And retrieval. Yeah. You have all? Everybody has them? Yep. Has them? Okay. The intrepid one. How should I approach the lurid news? With sound, video, photos, or none, low impact is what I often choose. 
but despite my toils, it isn't fun. I only try the 6.30 show on foot so that I can swiftly leave. The kitchen is frequently where I go. Thanks, NPR, for music reprieve. Google News gives me finger tap ease to delete, skip, select, or pick next. I could decline all the options I please and close my eyes to even the text. But sometimes I can unmask a jewel, a reason for cheer about our lives. Instead of cringing at all that's cruel, uplifting can happen by surprise. Today, Warbler, the intrepid one, can cross the ocean a nonstop flight. Maybe there's hope we are not done when this wee creature has such might. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did anybody see that article about the Warbler? No. The, wow. And that's probably like a context out of, but it um, is a tiny songbird that flies 1,500 miles nonstop across the ocean. That's wow. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. Awesome. I wonder how they found that out. That's awesome. They have little backpacks uh, they, yeah, that they, they put, put on them. <laughs> 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 so they make them even heavier for their journey. Yeah. They make, put tiny little uh, uh, yeah. tracking devices. Radar. They put little books in it. Amazing. Yeah. 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 I need to have some of those at, at things like at, when I'm listening to the news or watching the news or leaving the news, <laughs> whatever, yeah. um, because it's just it's a moment of joy, and I think, okay, yeah, you know, yeah, I yeah, can really. go on. Um, okay, so, um, retrieval. Going fishing for words in my old brain has become the murkiest sort of thing. <laughs> How vexing to lose the requisite verb and find it so simply when it's absurd. How's a good argument going to show if I'm stuck on my red hot <coughs> caustic blow? If only I'd block on the most astute, but sometimes I waffle on words like cute. It's fine to tell me, be calm and just wait, but now I'm a sentence and topic <laughs> I have to I have to joke about this or I'll go crazy. What a great line you forgot it, right? I can see you there. Uh, you know, a lot of empathy. <laughs> I thought there might be some I didn't like. The wind will all fly. I fall into that problem with. I don't handle things well through my ears because people don't stop when I want them to. If someone uses a word or a phrase in a strange way, and I think, I wonder why we do that. I wonder what the etymology of that word is. Let's see. It sounds like it's cognate with so. And meanwhile, the fool keeps talking. <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, uh, but they, do, they do see that look on your eye. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Joe, so we're going to miss you very much. I don't get to miss this group even more. Well, oh. And as you may hopefully understand, I just couldn't find the time to write the poem that I've been thinking about writing on poetry and friendship. Um, so it's in my head. You can see? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but we all have emails. So I'll, I'll send it. I'll send yeah, it. You stay with us no, I'll, I'll send it. Uh, we'll but I wanted to come and, uh, and, uh, and, and say farewell. Um, next week we're leaving. Wow. The, um, Which day? Well, the moving, well, leaving the house on the 14th, Monday, the moving truck comes on the 15th, the 16th we close, and off we go. And the closing in Austin is on the 17th. Where, where are you staying so after you leave, you leave your house? Uh, thanks to Marianne and Doffler and I, I will be able to not go to the street, you know, the bridge, uh, on the bridge, <laughs> <laughs> which was another option. We thought it would <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with, uh, with our little trailer behind the car and the moving truck there, and I said, let's sit with some friends. And thanks to the um, uh, amazing Flournoy family, on the way we'll be stopping in Dallas to spend the night with her daughter, Hailey. Mm -hmm. And then, while we have to wait for a, a week until the house is ready, we'll be staying with uh, Marianne's sister, Nancy, you know, in, uh, outside Austin, Lakeland. 
Oh, wow, so, that's very nice. But everything is going so incredibly smooth. Everything is just going perfect. May the devil be dead. It's about yeah, time. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's about time. <laughs> it's like yeah. you know, a long time of just waiting and waiting yeah. for the house to sell, and then finally it's sold, and everything has to be done in a rush. Mm -hmm. And I'm spending many hours every day just organizing and packing. And one, th one thing that happened yesterday, which uh, um, just gave me a lot of uh, things to think about, but um, there was a time when I, you know, I, I began, as I, you may have heard me tell before, but I began writing poetry as a child. Uh, at the time, using my two sort of co-native languages of Catalan and French. And um, many years later, I just, uh, I was child stuff and I threw a lot of the stuff away. But I found a few bonds still there, both in <laughs> Catalan and in French, and I still have them. Um, and I thought, it's very childish, but in a way that I thought, oh, that's not bad for <laughs> you know, Whatever I was, six, seven, eight years old, um, uh, seven or eight probably, um, including one to a girl named Rosé. Uh, <laughs> my, my first girlfriend, I was eight. And, Aww. And I blushed, and <laughs> all the things that you're supposed to do when you meet a girl that you know what to do. Um, it takes many years to find out, and usually you don't. <laughs> but anyway, um, the, 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 the main thing I want to say is that um, you know, joining this group for me has been the most important thing I've done since retirement four years ago. And um, it's opened uh, a whole aspect of my life that I had left lying fallow for many years as I began to leave the world of uh, literature and poetry and uh, uh, personal reflection and just focused on statistics and research and international relations and trips abroad and, and all that. But um, I've recovered it thanks to this group. And the most important thing is that it's, um, uh, you, know, you cannot write poetry, uh, if you really want to write poetry, I mean, you can play games, but if you want to really do it, you really have to um, look deep inside of you and bear what's inside and, and be honest. And uh, Just and keep focusing on it, Joseph, and yes. eventually you'll reach that brain that you had at age seven and eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying, Fred. I'm still trying. But by now, it's, I've already... Uh, <laughs> Uh, retrograded to age like 47, so <laughs> I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> you might want to skip from about 12 to 16. As I go oh, back, I think I'll skip all the way from 30 to 5. <laughs> <laughs> or at least 30 to 10. Um, uh, but it's, it's, it's something that, that you cannot do, if, I, I cannot do unless I feel trust in the group and I feel that that's something I can do, and this group is just incredible. Because it, uh, you know, you're all uh, in amazingly generous and kind and, and loving and, and supportive, and I can come sometimes with the craziest ideas and footnotes. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, except for Patricia, who always says, a footnote is a footnote! <laughs> okay, I can't say anything, but I know what you're thinking. <laughs> And, uh, and in spite of that, yeah, you know, you, um, you've been very supportive. So I'll miss this group incredible. And you published a book. And I published a book, oh, yeah. which would have been impossible without being here. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, so um, it's not goodbye, it's farewell. And I'll, I'll stay connected and hopefully visit every now and then. And yeah, yeah. maybe one of these days I can just join the group for... We will miss you. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank, yes. You. Thank, much, you Thank you all very much. I suppose you won't be able to pick up what is a channel. What channel is it? <laughs> it goes on YouTube. I cannot pick up the channel in Athens. <laughs> <laughs> but, after, but afterwards, it is aired on um, YouTube. And so you should have access to YouTube from where else. This pro, the, this yeah, one. the Poets' Corner. Oh, my Lord. Oh, oh, you never told, told us that. Oh, huh? oh, you oh, never oh, told oh, us oh, that. Oh, well, there's a way to get on it. Yeah. Well, Just go to ACTV website, and then from there, you can... Ah, thank you, Patricia. That's a... Uh, wow. Check us out. I've never seen it. I've never seen We're seen notorious. It. Yes, very much so. <laughs> and it's on, it's on all the time. Even on... The regular ACT, um, ACTV mm. program, it is on a lot. But it, it's the 
morning thing that comes on first. This may be hazardous your mental health. <laughs> Do you anticipate diet changes? Diet? Yeah. Well, if you mean that I will start Tex -Mex. eating uh, raw cows, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean by diet changes. Well, the, the Tex-Mex Tex -Mex. is absolutely great food. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, but remember that my wife is from Mexico. Yes, so it's the Mex Mex. And I think that she has something Authentic. very, you know, um, something special about Tex Mex, which she doesn't see. And I think she's right, it's not Mexican. And I keep telling her, Adriana, it is true, it is not Mexican. It's, that's what they call it Tex Mex. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, given um, uh, the, the importance of marital harmony, I think that I would probably <laughs> <laughs> not insist that we go to many Tex-Mex restaurants. And uh, now, I thought you were saying tex mess. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. I thought that, never mind. <laughs> we did try a Tex-Mex restaurant in, in Austin with some friends this time, and um, after the meal she said, it's interesting, but it's, it's not Mexican. That's <laughs> <laughs> sure. how she can't compare it to Mexican, because she knows the real thing. Oh, she knows the real thing, right. Yes. Uh, so, never, um, never will. But anyway, that's, well, uh, finding a place to eat and eat very well in Austin, that will not be a problem. Among many other things. Many, many charming restaurants. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. The restaurants. thing I, I guess yeah. the reason I ask, yeah. I keep having yeah. memories of the different kinds of peppers Mm -hmm. that are sold in Texas grocery stores. Yeah. I mean, they just a marvelous array of peppers. Hot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, uh, join us for lunch? Uh, she will join us for lunch. If we decide where we go, I'll send her a text and uh, she will join us. Oh, a text, Max. I lobby for Asia Panda for a farewell uh, dinner. For oh, okay. All right. Where is the China Panda. China Panda. Oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>